We're following breaking news live at 6. Fire breaks out at a new Holstein apartment building, killing one woman and injuring four others. Firefighters were called to Railroad Street around 6.45 this morning. The fire chief says it appears the fire started in a kitchen. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval is live in the Green Bay newsroom tonight with more. Stacey, the one person who died has been identified as 42-year-old Nicole Masucci. The four others who were hurt were taken to the hospital but have since been released. Crews are saying that this fire could have been much worse if it hadn't been for one volunteer firefighter they're calling a hero. Amanda Sander came home to smoke and flames shooting out of the windows of the apartment building across the street. It just it scares me half to death because I do live so close. The call came in as a kitchen fire. That's when one volunteer firefighter who lives in the area took action. He went above his duty and uh, thank God he did. The firefighter, who doesn't want to be identified, grabbed his ladder from his business and started pulling the four people out of a second floor window. When they get a fire call and it happens to be in their neighborhood, they run over and do what they need to do. Unfortunately, the flames and smoke were too intense to save 42-year-old Nicole Masucci. New Holstein needed help from six other departments to get the blaze under control. My 20 years, I've never seen anything like that. It, it, was, it was stubborn. The roof caved in and getting water inside was difficult. We brought in a, a, a clam to lift the roof off and that's when we got it under control. The ages of those displaced range from 30 to 40 years old, but there were no children living inside the home. Crews say the quick thinking of the hero firefighter helped save their lives. It's times like this that, uh, you know, the response, it, it could have been a lot worse. The state fire marshal and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms are all investigating, and that is routine after there is a fire death. Live in the newsroom, Cassandra Duval, NBC 26.